What's going on guys? All right, so I got back with the uh, Integra and she's actually not that bad. And I talked the dude down to uh, 400 bucks. It was 46 or 47 miles, something like that, drive back. So it took about an hour and I had no brakes. Um, I just used the e-brake to stop, so that was kind of a pain. Almost crashed a couple times. It was raining. It's dark and it's super foggy outside. So it was the ultimate, like worst weather for it at all. Had a flat tire, but we aired it up and it held air on it. I don't know what the hell. Uh, cruise control works on it, sunroof works. It's actually pretty mint. Um, the exhaust did break on the drive here. So it's loud as shit now. It broke right by the, uh, manifold so so it's loud as fuck I don't know if like the volume is going to get all messed up on this I just got this camera I don't know how the volume is but I'm going to take it outside it's kind of windy and show you the car there she is light on for you. And you can't see is it's dark. Oh yeah I forgot to say um, also the car didn't have a battery so I brought a battery with me and it didn't fit so we jammed it in there and uh, that's why the hood's not shut all the way because it's kind of just uh, shoved in there and it's only held by the first latch but it held the hood on though. But she's really not that bad. There's this little bit of rust right here. Got some paint flakes. I also drove it with no license plate. Don't tell anybody. You gotta see this interior. It's clean as hell. Like, super clean. It even has the stock original radio. Yeah, blows my mind. So yeah, um, 162,000 miles, sadly it's an automatic, but I got this for 400 bucks, and um, I don't know, I got it just to flip, um, I don't know. I don't know, I got it just to flip, or maybe daily drive. I don't know, I'm not really sure. I mean, I could just beat the hell out of it and make a bunch of badass videos. So, tell me uh, what you guys want me to do with that hoopty right there.